Hello everybody and welcome to another Ridiculously Ben Twitch tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to be able to have your bot use your emotes for any of the tiers and bit tiers 100% for free. That's right, free. Now this does not work with Nightbot. I did try it on Nightbot. I'm not sure if it works for any other bot, but I know it doesn't work for cloud-based bots. You have to have a bot that you download. In specific, I have tested this out with the chat bot for Streamlabs, and it works great. The only thing is to keep in mind is you need to be an affiliate for this to work, and you need to have emotes in your emote slot to work. And another thing to keep in mind is your cloud bot commands are a lot different than the chat bot commands. The chat bot is in the downloadable program. So for now, I will be doing maybe a, a different tutorial later down the line on those specific commands for chatbot opposed to cloudbot. But for now, let's, uh, let's get some free emotes in your chat. So first of all, first of all, you want to go to the Streamlabs website. It is a little bit difficult to find the chatbot. They make it, you jump through hoops. Luckily, you have me where I found the link and will provide it in the description below as well as on screen right now. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to streamlabs.com slash desktop dash chatbot and that's where you could download the chatbot. Again, if you try to look it up on your own, you're going to be jumping through hoops. I don't know why they do it that way. I guess they want people to mostly use their cloud bot, which is understandable. Um, but chatbot does offer a wide variety of other functions that your cloud bot won't provide to you, which is like macros and using free emotes, for example. So after we've downloaded that and installed it and just followed instructions, I'm not going to go through the installation. This is trying to keep this as short and quick as possible. You're going to load up your chatbot. First thing you see is the console. You can just go ahead and ignore that and go to this little person down here where it says connections. You're going to give your chatbot a name. Now I just kept the same as my username and streamer channel. Um, and you're going to want to click generate token you could leave connection type normal or regular generate token and then connect and you want to make sure you go through that whole entire security process chances are you're going to go through two-factor authentication and security process after you've done that go ahead and connect and then twitch streamer you're going to want to go ahead and click that and go through the same exact process where you put your username as a streamer generate token and then connect now you'll have to connect every single time that you are about to go live or that you're going live in order for this to work so this is necessary now the way I think it works I'm not 100% sure and I, I didn't really read into it a whole lot but I believe that the chatbot kind of pipes through your Twitch connection so that you're essentially posting all of these emotes as a trigger so when someone enters a command you're automatically responding to that command with the emote now the thing next thing you want to do is go to commands and you're gonna click on add we're gonna make our command called test now just to give an example of, of how this is going to work, we're going to do a tier 1 emote that I have called Lurk. And there we go, we got our Lurk right there. And then Submit. Everyone could use it as long as they, as long as they type in exclamation point test. Now let's take a look at what that looks like. So we're in my chat as you can see over here. And you know on the back end here I'm going to go ahead and type in exclamation point test. And there you go. It loads up the emote immediately. So let's go back to the chatbot so you know exactly the, the power for this. We'll go ahead and just edit the one we currently have. Now I'm going to add all my emotes. So this includes follower emotes. This includes all of the tier emotes. This includes the bit emotes as well. I'm gonna go ahead and submit that and it's just gonna spam a whole bunch from here. This is what it looks like without the bot. All my emotes there. Wonderful, right? Exclamation point test. Here we go. Are we ready? And voila. 
So for every command that you want your emotes to be used, you would need to make a separate command. The coding for these commands is a little bit different. Uh, you would need to find that code or wait for me to at least put another tutorial or blog post. Chances are I will make a blog post on that only because I'll just provide a list of common commands that we would use normally in a cloud bot. But thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful.